evening everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel you're highly welcome today we're going to be talking about the american girl named shakreda robinson that was just killed um some few weeks ago precisely on the 29th of october in mexico cabo city precisely where she went to celebrate the birthday of two of her friends that were part of this killing but before we go right into this video i would like to welcome those that are coming for the first time to my channel you're highly welcome i really appreciate you please before you run along why don't you click on the red sign to be part of this amazing family and also click on the notification bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video yes guys let's get right into this video it's so depressing so sad so heartbreaking so heart-wrenching to hear about the news of this beautiful young lady that her life was snatched out by her friends it's so sad it's it's really really sad it's so sad the situation it's it's kind of it's depressing what that girl went through in the hands of her friends come on how could the heart of women and the heart of men be this deep be this wicked to the point that you could snuff out the life out of someone and still pretend to the family like as if you don't know what happened to the girl to give them a first narrative of what you guys did to that girl or what actually happened to Shankwella Robinson in Mexico I've been trying for days now to like come stand in front of the camera to do a video about this because i really needed to like talk about it but i just couldn't bring myself to come forward to, to do a video about it because of the way i was feeling i've not been able to sleep since the day i came across this video of how this girl was killed shanquilla you see this world we really have to be careful with the kind of people that we call friends for the benefit of those that do not know about the story and um, I would like to just briefly run through what happened to Shankwela Robinson in Mexico. This was a beautiful, aspiring, young, talented, uh, that has a business striving for her. She's a registered nurse. She was a registered nurse because right now she's passed. That thought she had good friends. She had people that she could call friends. But she never knew she had enemies that were posing as friends. People that had her in mind. That wanted to do evil to her. And she just walked right into their net. And they were able to delete this girl off the surface of this earth. That is the worst thing that any woman being can think of doing to a fellow woman being. You wouldn't even want to wish that on your enemy. Let alone somebody that you call a friend. Okay, I'm just going to, like I said, run a brief story about what happened, actually happened in Mexico. Shankwila Robinson and her friends, there were seven of them that went to Mexico. Actually, there were five of them that went to Mexico with Shankwila and the sixth person came the day after um, she died or the very day that she died. That's the next day after they got to Mexico, who happens to be Nab um, Naji that's the guy's name the last person that came this is a girl that told her mom that she was going to mexico to celebrate uh to celebrate the birthday of two of her friends a girl and one of them a boy and a girl out of the six people that were supposed to be there with her she called her mom they spoke and she left to mexico there was a video that i saw of her when they got to Mexico, after they had breakfast and all of that stuff, there was a video I saw of her where she was walking around the whole villa. They actually went to the villa in Mexico. She was walking around this whole villa looking for her friends. And then she finally found them in a room where they were all gathered together. And she heard them saying, because out of the recording you could hear somebody say, yeah, we're going to do it hot. She never knew that hotness meant them taking a life later. A video went viral on Facebook, and I'm sure that video was posted while they were doing this beating. 
they asked this girl. She was naked. They woke her, woke her up from her sleep and they started beating her. These supposed friends of hers started beating her. And it may interest you guys to know that a particular guy out of these six Cabo six was actually the best friend of Shaquella Robinson named Khalid Cooks. Khalid Cooks who happened to be a family, uh, a best friend of Shaquilla, who happens to know the family in depth, who happens to go on vacation with the family, comes to their house, is known by everyone, was part of this Cabo Six that actually murdered this girl. He was right there. They were all filming why one of this girl named Dijani Johnson and Winter Donovan you're beating Shanquilla right there in the villa, in the bedroom. Shanquilla was naked. They beat her. You could see how they were beating her as if she was a kid, as if she was nothing. They were flinging her from left to right, beating her all over naked. And you could hear the voice of one of the guys, which we know that is Kali, Kali Cooks, who happens to be her best friend, saying, Oh my God, this guy was actually videoing, recording, and at the same time was saying, Shaquilla, could you at least fight back? And how Shaquilla could say, why they were beating her, seriously beating this girl, with a whole amount of hatred, you could see the anger, the way they were flinging this girl from the left, from the right, beating her, slapping her head, slapping her back, pushing her, dragging her back, left, just flinging her like, like a piece of rag. And this guy, who happened to be her best friend, standing there video and recording, saying, Shaquilla, could you at least fight back? There was a point it got to that this girl just... From one of the flings that they flung her, she sat on the floor with her back like this, like this. And all she could answer was, when that guy asked that question, she said, no, with the last strength in her. So what are we going to call this? If this is not premeditated murder, I don't know what else we are going to call this that these people, these six people did and they were all there recording at the same time they left America they left North Carolina and they all travelled to Mexico Shanquilla was the only one that didn't know the plans of the rest of the rest people she thought she was going to have a fun time with her friends supposed friends that eventually ended her life she thought she was going to have fun with them but they had an ulterior motive they went there after they planned or what they're going to do to this girl and she walked straight right into the trap right into the net that was set for her if someone had told Shaquilla that day that girl I saw a vision that you know something terrible is going to happen to you when you leave america and make this trip of course she wouldn't have believed because she thought she had friends in there they were friends she wouldn't know that that was what was going to befall her they left north carolina they traveled down to mexico they planned it because they they knew that they could get away with murder in Mexico, considering the type of country that Mexico is. So they could easily get away with murder in Mexico. That was why they planned to go on that trip. Not because they wanted to celebrate their birthday, but because they wanted to do Shaquilla dirty. And I believe deep down in my heart that they never knew that that girl was going to die. They never expected that she was going to die. They only wanted to humiliate her. Because according to news, according to videos, you know, recent videos, recent news that keep coming up, 
they said one of the girls named Winter Donovan actually came on Instagram live and was saying that yeah, Shaquilla did this, Shaquilla did this to them in school, Shaquilla did this to them to someone in school, Shaquilla did that, Shaquilla did this. Girl. Was that why you guys had to do this to her? She had nobody. She thought she had people in you, in you all. She had nobody. No one, not one of you could empathize with that girl when she was being beaten. Beaten the way Dijane jo uh, Johnson was beating her and the same Donovan uh, Winter. Only God knows how many of them, you know, actually laid their hands on that girl. But I'm very sure because of one of the videos I also saw that what led to, what could have led to the death because after they killed this girl after she died I'm sure they came up with a story that they're going to tell to her mother they actually called the mother and they told her that um she's unresponsive because she's now she's um she took um she she took um she got up uh, poisoned by alcohol alcohol poisoning and the mother was trying to figure out what do you guys mean by alcohol poisoning and then Another few hours, they called her and they told her that she passed on. Just like that. Just like that. And the next day, they packed their things. After stealing, I think they said 17000 from a credit card or something. Or the money she bought, they, stole, she, they actually stole 16000 off that girl. They packed their bags, packed her luggage. I mean, the dead Shankwila Robinson's rob, um luggage they packed it and they flew back to america yes they flew back to america leaving the dead body in mexico and they came back to america and this best friend of ours named kali cooks took the luggage to her mom's house they never knew that the saints would catch up with them kali took that luggage to the mom's house and in an interview the mom said Khalid was coming to the house and they just ended it like that that she died of alcohol poisoning he came to the house for four days straight he was coming to the house not until they heard about this viral video of how she was beaten how this girl was mercilessly beaten went viral that was the end. They didn't see Kali no more. Kali did not come to the house anymore up until this time. Now the FBI is on the case. Mexico police, they've resumed. Um, they um given an order for the arrest of those six, Cabo Six, and um the governor has even signed for them to be extradited extradited whenever they are being caught. The FBI is on the case. The case is open now because it's beginning to go more, more and more and more attention all over the world and right here in france i saw that video and i just couldn't imagine what the parents of these girls of this girl shankola robinson are going through the pain she's the only daughter of her father i see what people she called friends did to her okay now they released the video only god knows why they released that video i'm sure they actually released that video when they were actually doing that to her they thought they wanted to like degrade her they put that video online i heard now that they said the fbi they're going to get everything they are going to get everything they're going to get the time when that video was posted online they're going to get it if it's going to correspond to when the doctors in mexico said she died according to the aut autopsy result because when the autopsy result came out it that came came out with the different you know different reasons why that girl died she really died because of um a cut to the spinal cord um injury to the spinal cord and a broken neck which they call laxation something something like that today i'm going to put it by the side so you guys can see I guess to what they actually went to, they called the mom and they told her, and what they still went to America to North Carolina and still told the mother that killed her. 
it was a different thing that the autopsy results came out came out with she died of broken neck and spinal cord injury and i'm sure she sustained that broken neck because that video is not ah, man the way they were flinging that girl i said i was watching that video and my body was rising my body was rising i felt i felt her pain i felt i felt the pain i felt the way that girl would have felt why that you know heel treatment was being meted out on her i felt it i felt i my spirit was boiling the inner the inner most part of me was boiling that is that is the time that you could kill someone i'm I, i'm sorry to use that word that's the time that i felt like you know i could just hold these people and you know these are the times that you want to like just squeeze somebody and that was how i felt let alone the people that you know I better these girls and her mother, her parents, how would they feel watching how their daughter died? It's not something that is palatable. And I pray, I wish, we all know that it's going to come to pass. These people will be caught because the news has gone viral. Everybody's, almost everyone is not aware of this Shankwela Wabinsin's case. They need to be brought back to Mexico. They need to face the law. These six people, the Cabo Six, they need to face the law. They cannot go scot free. No, for just ending a out of jealousy, this was done to this beautiful young girl. Because there's nothing I'm going to call this, this act of them. It's just the act of jealousy, the act of greed, wickedness, envy covetousness that made these people to do this this harmful deed to this little girl yes there's no two ways we were going to paint it or call it it's wickedness envy jealousy covetousness oh my god i pray our soul finds peace i pray our soul rest in the bosom of the lord and these six people Rot in prison, not just any prison, not prison in America, prison in Mexico, where that crime, that act was committed. That's where they should go and face the law. And I pray they would each day they would they will they will beg, they will beg to just leave this world. That will be their portion. They will beg to leave this world by the time they are being sentenced in Mexico. Because there are clear evidence of what happened and how this girl died, what led to her death. That is why we have to be very careful of people that we call friends. Choose your friends wisely. Don't be open too much. Just let your circle be small. Trust no one. Trust no one. Trust no one. Let your circle be small. People that you call friends, you really need to know them. Because the one you call a friend is the one that will stab you at the back. It is only God that is helping us. Because there are no good people out there. The minds of people are evil. So we really have to be careful. We really have to be careful out there. <sighs> May the soul of Shankwela Robinson rest in perfect peace again. Guys, I think I will have to stop here now and I'll bring you guys more info as I go about the streets of YouTube and um, come share it with you. Thank you for listening and um, I'll see you all next time. Bye.